So welcome to this tutorial on uploading your files to your web server and we'll be doing this very specifically with the create UNL web hosting. So what I have here is I have my dashboard open and you can see uh, this is my domain alanino.createunl.com so that's where I'll be uploading my files to and the simplest way to do this is if I go into my file manager so I click on my file manager, it opens a new tab, and I have an, a list of everything within my hosting folder. Now, I'm really only concerned with the public HTML folder because that's what holds my website files. So if I double click into that, it will show me all the contents of my website. So right now I've, I've got a website up here. I don't really need to upload anything new but maybe if I go into you know I can look at my folders so this shows me then the contents of my website now I've got a few extra files in here because I've got a full website uploaded your version may look a little different with only a few files it doesn't really matter uh, because you're going to be uploading your website files to this I would simply click the upload button that opens up a new tab which allows me to either drag and drop from a folder on my hard drive or click the select file to locate. Let's see, we'll go into my um, sites folder. I created a website here. I'll just pretend that I've got a Komodo test HTML. I'm going to upload that. So I've got a file here that I've been working on. I simply click that file. I select it. Open. It gives me my progress bar and it's usually pretty quick because HTML files are relatively small. Then I can click this to go back to my public HTML folder which again is my web folder and now I have this Komodo test.html file in there. I don't even remember what this file looks like but I want to go look at it now. I want to make sure so I double check make sure yeah it's been uploaded today at 11.30 a.m. I go to a new tab. I type in my domain. Now if I've uploaded an index file as a home page I don't need to put anything else at the end of my URL. But since I've got this Komodo test.html, is that what I called it? Yeah, Komodo test.html. I have to add that file name because I want to go to that specific document. So then I open it up. And this is all that's on there. It's just a playing file I was playing around with. Here, obviously, I would check and make sure that everything is working, that all my content is there, that my photos are working, and this is not, so I probably need to make a, a fix to that. If it was working, I would copy this URL, I would paste that into Canvas, and that would be my submission for this project. So that's how you work with the dashboard file manager in your Create UNL accounts to upload your website files. It's a pretty straightforward, simple process. The key is just make sure you're in the correct directory. That public underscore HTML is the key. Thanks for watching.